everybody this is priya parthasarathi and welcome to another episode of the mystifying digital today let's talk about content for social media what you should be posting how frequently you should be posting what are the things that you can talk about what kind of format you have to adopt while you post on social media and many more such questions will be answered in today's discussion let's tackle the easy kind of questions first and then get to the more complicated questions so let's talk about how frequently does a brand post on social media there is no hard and fast rule about this there are big brands which post several times a day so they have like you know 15 20 posts a week and there are people that post only maybe once a week so there is no right or wrong answer it's all about who's your target audience what you're talking to them about and you know what are they expecting out of you i would say the important thing is to focus on consistency not frequency but consistency the thing to remember is that if you post too frequently you might annoy your audience and they may you may not get the engagement you want out of them or if you post too infrequently your audience might completely forget that you exist so in order to have optimal kind of engagement and reach for your channel i would suggest posting about maybe three times a week that way you could uh, have a consistent schedule on posting maybe monday wednesday friday or tuesday thursday saturday or stick to a schedule like that so that your audience knows when to expect a post from you is there a specific time that you should post in a day well facebook does give you an insight on what are the timings during a day that your audience is active it could actually if you go to the insight section of page you would be able to see that on monday your audience is active at 8 am on wednesday they are active at 4 pm or something like that you could stick to that and uh, post that on the times that your audience is active so that instantly they would see it on their wall just think about it normally people check their social handles in the morning before they get to work and once they get to work they kind of busy with whatever they're doing at work and in the evenings again they become active now pre pandemic days this was the normal uh, the activity of people on social channels would be high in the mornings and later in the evenings just like your you know prime time on television it it was kind of the same for social handles so you could choose a particular time and uh, start posting consistently as i said consistency is important so if you are always posting maybe at 11 am continue doing it and your audience knows that is the time so it depends on who your audience is and uh, being consistent about what time you are posting now is it necessary to boost every post well yeah i mean the the reason you are on social media is for your audience to interact with you and to see what you are posting if your audience is not receiving your posting all your efforts are wasted right so if possible do spend money and boost every post that you are doing that way you are ensuring that at least a certain uh, number of your audience will be able to look at your posts however not every business can afford to spend a lot of money so it might come down to your budget i know of successful facebook pages that don't spend anything on boosting their posts i'll tell you how they do it but there are also big brands that spend lakhs of rupees on boosting their posts and facebook advertisement so it it comes down to what your budget is at a minimum i think facebook requires a post a minimum spend of 40 rupees per day per boost or something like that to set aside a small budget maybe 5000 rupees you know for to start out and if you're doing say 15 posts then you could spend a, a portion that amount accordingly and spend or you could spend a little bit more on posts that you think will do much better than other posts that don't have such a an impact for instance videos do very well on social media so if you are posting a video then maybe allocate a little bit more budget to boosting that video post uh, it might get you a lot more traction than boosting a normal post yes it is possible for pages to have a lot of engagement uh, on their uh, social media pages without even spending on boosting their posts especially on facebook now what makes that happen is one the nature of the business the nature of your content and also the involvement that you have in that page when i was an e-commerce entrepreneur selling fashion jewelry on uh, facebook we hardly spent uh, any money on boosting our posts because we had a lot of engagement on our page because we were personally myself and my partner we were personally active on that page uh, we would actually respond to every comment that came on the page we would uh, be interacting with our audience and that is something that audience want they want interaction on the pages it's not enough that they engage with you you have to engage back with them if you can do that then it's possible to have a uh, engaged audience without spending too much money on boosting your posts also important is the nature of your business 
suppose you are a chef or you are in the food business and you are posting cooking tips every day or you know posting live videos of uh, cooking uh, or live videos of working out and things like that then it is possible for you to have a highly engaged audience because people want to watch this it is something that they come to check every day it is something that people seek out every day so they might actually make it a point to come see what you've posted today and you know interact with your page suppose you're a real estate company and you're promoting a particular building that you're doing it's it's difficult to get people to engage with you on a daily basis in that case it might be important for you to spend money on boosting so there are two factors as i said one is the nature of your business and whether people are seeking out that information on a on a daily or an ongoing basis and number two is how involved you are how quick you are to as to respond now comes the harder question what kind of content do you post as i have explained in so many of my other videos at the heart of every piece of communication from you should be the audience put your audience first and think about what all they would want and use that as the benchmark to create your content people are not coming to social media to learn about products they are coming to social media to you know maybe have fun entertain themselves educate themselves get inspired by many things so these are the important things that you should focus on in your post educate your audience inspire your audience entertain your audience these are but there are ways that you could include your product message and uh, establish yourself as an authority in your field through these kind of posts product sales might be the ultimate aim however if that is all you are communicating to your audience through social media that's a sure fire way to bore them and chase them away from your pages so how do you decide what you should talk about now think about the customer this is what i would do when i start uh, ideating for a particular facebook page think about the customer define them define their demographic details their age gender location then think about their psychographic profile now what kind of audience would want to consume my product suppose you are selling hair oils herbal hair oil then think about what what kind of person is buying that yes everybody is interested in hair fall but look at your core audience who could it be it could be people you know it could be women who are past 35 or something you know when they gone through hormonal changes and they probably had a child or two and you know they have hormonal upheavals and that's when they start to really lose hair similarly with men uh, yes of course younger audience also has all these issues but more so predominantly it's people in this age group that would be your core audience right so then if you know that this is what the audience is then look at what are the other things that in- interest them what are all the various other challenges they have in life so wh- you create what you call as a mind map of the audience you think about you put the audience in the middle and and uh, write down everything that you think is in their you know in their life their choices their challenges their uh, activities everything and then start talking about all these activities and that should give you a give give you a content plan for your brand say in this case of a hair fall product uh, you are selling a hair oil for hair fall then what are the things that you could talk about you could talk about home remedies that people could do to you know kind of control their hair fall it's not that you know if you give them home remedies they're going to do that and not buy your product it's not like that this is to show that you know all about hair fall this establishes you as an authority for as somebody who knows about hair so give them home remedies most of them you know we all know people are lazy they don't do home remedies that is why you know although we have lots of home remedies for everything people don't use them they end up going and buying a product which is easier for them to do that will actually address you know if you tell them put haldi why are people you know why are but people buying golden milk powder it's just that just haldi and milk powder mix they could always put haldi in their milk and drink at home but people don't do that they, this is a big selling product during this pandemic period is golden milk powder that is because people don't have the patience to do anything themselves anymore so they go out and buy a product that is what will happen if you give a home remedy they will understand it and they look for a product that actually gives them that home remedy so talk about home remedies for hair fall talk about uh, you know vitamin supplements that they can take for hair fall because we all know that you know just putting oil is not going to solve the hair fall problem there are so many other things that is involved in hair fall right so address all those things talk about the nature of uh, water in the house that could be contributing to it talk about stress i mean what bigger reason is there for hair fall than stress talk about stress how people can handle stress talk about meditation talk about yoga i mean the you know if you start thinking from the audience's angle your field just opens up in terms of what are the what are the various kinds of content that you can give for this audience you think about all the pain points 
what is it that they are challenged with and how is your product going to deliver on their problems how are you giving a solution right so you can give them reasons to believe you can talk about maybe some certifications you have very powerful is giving testimonials if you have uh, other customers that you have used your product get them to give a sound bite get them to give a, you know maybe even two lines if they give a testimonial about your product but make them feel real not like i've used this product it's great you know that kind of testimonial doesn't cut ice with anybody anymore make it seem real make them give an honest you know from the heart kind of testimonial then it has a better resonance with the audience another thing that um, i see a lot of uh, brands doing wrongly are uh, when it comes to wishing people wishing their audience for festivals well it is important because of course you know if some if diwali is happening you cannot not post a diwali wish uh, on your uh, channels right so it's important to do that but ensure that you keep that to a minimum because sometimes uh, some brands end up doing you know wishing for all kinds of indian things right? i even saw one brand that sells refrigerator wishing people for nelson mandela's birthday really <laughs> how is that effective at all so whatever you wish for make sure that it has some relevance to your audience one thing i would also advise is to watch what your competitors are doing how they are how they are doing it maybe even watch some big brands how they are doing you know what kind of images they are posting what kind of content they are posting that will give you ideas design ideas and content ideas as well there's no harm you don't have to copy it you don't have to plagiarize anything but you can get inspired by what others are doing if you can do it well you know there's there's no uh, there's no substitute because you know your audience best nobody else knows them as well as you do but uh, successful business people you know big business owners don't have time for uh, engaging with social media then you will have to end up hiring a team to do that for you ensure that the person or the team that you are hiring you know most of them come with very good design skills uh, i'll give them that but a lot of them have a problem in understanding of the audience and the content that they can post ensure that you give them a thorough briefing on your product and your service and your audience Uh, because you have to do that the onus of educating them is on you tell them what is it that you want give them particular uh, you know give them goals so that they will also be able to deliver it because a lot of times they are technologists the digital marketing people they come with the technological knowledge they may not have domain knowledge of your business so to teach them and to educate them on uh, about your business is is on you so this is a, a basic uh, low down on the kind of content uh, you have to post on your social pages when to post how to post and all of that we'll talk a lot more in in the coming weeks we all can also talk about what kind of what kind of content that will spur engagement what kind of engagement generating uh, uh, activities you could do on your posts and various other things that's all for today for more demystifying digital content remember to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next week again have a good week bye bye